Hi, my name is Sam. Uh, I'm a teacher. I've been using Notion for about eight months and I use it to organize everything in my life. But recently I've been using it uh, especially for work as I try and get organized for online learning. Uh, it is definitely a difficult time. And uh, I find that the productivity and organization skills I've picked up are really applicable and important as we go into online teaching where there's so many things to keep track of um, on a daily basis, hourly basis even. So I've built this dashboard. It's loosely modeled after a personal dashboard I use to keep track of my personal projects, reading lists, uh, to-dos, etc. Uh, and I've just made a really simple uh, version of a uh, what I call a work OS. So I want to show you what it looks like, uh, kind of built out, and then uh, walk you through how to make one and you can just customize your own afterwards. Uh, so just some basic parts here. I've got a page here I call Daily Archive. Uh, if I click into it, it archives um, all of the daily tasks that I finished. Uh, so I can just kind of click here and jump straight to that day and have a, a track record of what I accomplished. Um, and uh, let's go back here. I have some toggles here uh, and they're pre-built daily checklists. So today's a Friday for me. If I click here, you'll see that it populates um, the page with a daily checklist. Um, I need to uh, check on my seesaw feedback. I need to uh, plan next day. Um, I need to do some communications uh, with the students and with their families. So in building this out, uh, I can put today's date, August 28th. And then after that, uh, I'm gonna go through all, go through my day. Uh, I might add another task, uh, do this, do that. Uh, and the great thing about Notion is that you can just hit the at symbol and put in a time. You can put in uh, 4 p.m. And uh, you can even do reminders. So hit at, hit remind, and just put a 4 15 p.m. there, for example. And at 4 15 on the app and on the browser, it'll give you a pop-up. This is really great because you can just run through this checklist during the day um, and just kind of keep track of what you're doing. The great thing about Notion is each element is a block, so it allows you just to freely move and manipulate uh, things um, uh, as you go about uh, your tasks. Uh, and sometimes I might not get to something, so I'll just kind of put it up over here, and uh, there you go. And so when the day is done, I just drag everything and I put it into the daily schedule. There go, it goes, it's gone. Uh, it's out of sight, but I can always just refer right back to it. So now that I've shown you what it looks like, let's uh, build it from the ground up. Uh, so I'll be teaching you how to make a page, make these uh, template blocks, and then just kind of uh, get a basic setup going. So I have a brand new page uh, I made. It's just called, there's nothing here. This is what it looks like if you're using Notion for the first time. I'm just gonna, give it a name, you know, work, and just call it OS Demo. Uh, Notion's fun because you can just uh, bring in icons here, so teacher. All right, so uh, let's let's get this going. So if, uh, I'm just gonna think about some elements that I want. I want to, uh, in this demo, uh, I want to build an archive page and what I just did there was I just typed in uh, these two brackets. Uh, so I'll do that again, type in these two brackets and it becomes this checklist. I wanna build an archive uh, page uh, for days I'm done with. And uh, I want to have uh, template blocks uh, for daily tasks, pre-built daily tasks lists. Um, and let's, let's just go from there. Uh, so let's start off with this. Let's make a page that we'll call an archive. So what we can do is just click on the plus icon and you wanna just make a page. So now there's this page and you'll see from the breadcrumbs it's inside this demo. Uh, so we'll call this a, a daily archive. Okay, and I'll just leave it like that. Coming back here, I have my daily archive. And then I'm going to make some templates. So what I would like to be able to do is just click a button and just populate a list of daily tasks. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a button. So I'm going to press on the add button again. And for you keyboard junkies out there, you can actually just type in a slash and it replicates the same thing and you can just type out what you want. So I'm looking for the button. I'm trying to remember where that is. 
uh, there it is, template uh, button. So I'm going to click on this. Okay, so a uh, couple things. What do you want this button to be called? And specifically, what's going to be in this button? What will this expand into? So I'm going to call this a new uh, new day of online learning. I'm going to think to myself, what's going to happen on a daily basis? Uh, so student engagement, student engagement, hit enter. And now I'm on a new line here. I'm going to make another uh, uh, checkbox. So these brackets, uh, you know, you can say emails, uh, get feedback, etc. Uh, and you can build another category, um, planning, make tomorrow's plans, um, et cetera. Uh, communications, I, I just showing it the comms on my own dashboard, comms, uh, and you know, uh, parent updates, et cetera. Okay, so now I've created um, these, these blocks and anytime I click on this new day of online learning button, it will populate it. So let's close it now. This is what it looks like so far. I've got uh, my daily archive, which is a blank page, and I've got a new day of online learning. So if I click on plus, it will just populate that, okay? And then I can go about my day and, and do all that. You know what, I just realized, uh, I forgot to have a space for the date. So no worries, because we can, uh, we can still change uh, the contents of this button. So coming over here, there's a gear icon. So I'm gonna add another line here. In the beginning, in the top level here, I'm gonna make a header. If you're familiar with Markdown, uh, this should not be new. But if you're new to Markdown, um, it's, it's a way just to differentiate between the different um, headings and bullet points, etc. So I'm gonna click on heading three, and I'm just gonna pre-name it with a 2020. Okay, so anytime I press this configure template button, it's going to begin with 2020. Uh, so I'm going to close this now. So notice that if I press on the add button, it's going to start it off with 2020 and I can go about my day. Okay, so um, let's pretend like we are, are going about our work today and uh, you know I've done everything, everything here. So the question is, what do you do when you're done? Uh, well, what we're going to do is we're going to drag all of this in. And the th beautiful thing with blocks is they're draggable. You can manipulate them. So I'm going to put them into daily archive and it, res it leaves me with this clean page for tomorrow. So um, when we go into the daily archive, you're just going to see whatever has been put, been dumped in here will just, uh, will just uh, sink to the bottom of the page. There's one more thing we can do to get this organized is we can add a table of contents. So uh, hitting the plus or hitting the slash and I can type table of contents. So a table of contents reads the page and uh, it looks for headers. And since we, since this one is a, uh, a heading, it populates it uh, with that heading. So if I make another day for next week, next Monday, and I've done everything here. I can similarly just drag all of these things, put it in, and the table of contents will automatically detect that heading. And so now I have this uh, running record of all the things I've accomplished. Okay, let's review. We've uh, we've learned how to make a page as a daily archive. We've got some template uh, blocks um, uh, for, for making days, and you can make more of these templates for different days. Um, and uh, and there you go. So now we have a very simple but very powerful uh, tool uh, to keep you organized as we go through online learning. Um, I, I'm into three weeks of online learning myself, so uh, I've been finding that getting organized is so, so important. Um, and uh, I hope this helps you. Um, Notion is a fantastic tool. Uh, take care. God bless. And, uh, and later.